this is a great opportunity, but um, we we all just worried about being one and zero at the end of the week, and um, we just worry about the next game. There's nothing else that we're we're trying to prove right now. We're just trying to win. Is it tough at all, or just in the short week? Um, we don't look at it like that. I mean, um, God has blessed us to play on Thursday on TV, so we're just ready to come out there and um, play. Now you guys are you know, moving up on the rankings. People are noticing the guys here are just like right outside the top twenty-five. What kind of milestone would that be for the program? Uh, how encouraging would that be for you guys if you guys made it to the top twenty-five? I oh, still have to be one to know at the end of the week. So if we're um, if, if if we're blessed to be um, in the top twenty-five, then. The whole team we would be happy for, but nothing, nothing would change on the way we prepare and, uh, and the way we work. Greg, any thoughts? Um, one pretty prominent national writer has you in his uh, Heisman Five list. I know you don't look at those things, but is that at least a nice little thing to have your, your name associated with, with that? Not, not really worried about that right now. Um, not worried about it at all, honestly. Just. Um, just ready to uh, come with the team and uh, just ready to work so we can get a, a team win. You did mention after the game the other day that you were, you know, it's almost been a year since you took over the, the job at midseason. When you look back, is there, you know, a moment where you kind of, I mean, you had been a quarterback in high school, but that you kind of felt like, you know, I'm back into this and back into the, the groove after, after having played wide receiver for a while? They said, what, was yeah, it a yeah, moment? Like, you know, you've been out of quarterback for a little while, mm -hmm. and then it's almost been a year now that you've returned. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look back, you know, what's, what's that journey like? I guess been like for you? Um, it feels great to be back there. And um, it's, it's just, it's, it's so many things I still need to work on every day. And um, I just have to keep working to get better. Greg, what kind of influence has Adam been on the sideline, having him on the sideline, helping you guys out throughout the course of the game? Um, Adam is a very smart, um, smart guy, and um, he helps me out a lot since I'm, I'm younger than him with um, with everything, coverages and even our plays. And um, him being on the sideline and letting me know what he sees, it just helped me out a lot. Uh, what you just asked, because um, last Tuesday we had a pretty bad practice, and uh, this Tuesday we wanted to make sure everything was sharp and concise. And uh, we came out there and did that after a game being Saturday. I mean, we just know that's our mindset going into the next game that we won. The last one is just time, you know, to get back on track and get ready for our next opponent. Coach was talking about how Greg is just barely scratching the surface as a mm -hmm. quarterback. And obviously just a great player putting up those numbers. I mean, what do you see just how dynamic? Oh, he's very dynamic. I mean, to use his legs is big. I mean, it helps us receivers, I mean, to get open, really. And, um, I mean, he's he got, he got a hell of an arm when he wants to throw it. I mean, he's a great quarterback, and um, he's a leader out there on the field. And I like him so far, and I think he's going to um, grow the more of the season. So you guys walk off the field, and you scored 38 and 600, and you look like you're not happy. I mean, you're not satisfied. I mean, <laughs> yeah. your coach certainly doesn't seem satisfied. It's yes, just, sir. I, mean, I think uh, that's just the way our culture is around here. We want to put up 100 in each ball game if we can. I mean, I think that we just got to keep developing and keep growing as an offense. And the shots that we want to um, hit, I mean, we just got to make those shots down the field. And um, we're going to get more points on the board. Coach had mentioned last he felt like last night was you guys' best Tuesday practice so yes, far this year. What was it about that practice? Is it the lights playing in the stadium, or, or what was it that made it so good for you guys? Uh, coming off uh, last Tuesday, we didn't have a good practice going into the Tulsa week, and uh, we just wanted to um, be better and have a better mindset going into this SMU game, knowing it's a short week. We don't have a lot of time to prepare and coming off a game Saturday and be able to practice Sunday, body beat up and everything. We just wanted to grind it out and have a great practice and um, going into tomorrow and just knowing that we um going to be good going out there on the field and feeling like we got a chip on our shoulder. Is that something that has kind of started to um, kind of carry over throughout the team that you guys when just the, the <laughs> desire to be better each week? Um, yeah, I think that's something that Coach Herman brings to us, um, that we be 1-0 and every day in anything that we do in aspects of life. And uh, I think he brings that better inner self out of us. And uh, for us to be not better than the opponent, just be better than how we was yesterday, I think that's what the culture that he brings to the table. And uh, we're going to keep that up. What's Coach telling you all about SMU? I mean, just the whole the history and the rivalry. I mean, is this oh. to y'all? Is this? Yeah, he told. 
he told me this is, you know, this is Ali and uh, Joe Frazier. This is, you know, Florida State versus Florida. I mean, it's the in-state rival. And um, this is the only other team that's in Texas, you know, that that's in the American Conference. And uh, I think we just got to come out there and play. This is a real big game for us. So. You know, what's, what was it like for you guys as a defense to go up against an offense like that and, and come away? With that, that kind of success, especially um, the first half where I think y'all were on the field for like 58. Points. Um, it was it was fun. Um, we took the we took the time. Um, we we t actually took it as a challenge. You know, um, we 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 feel like we're the best defense in the country, and and for us to compete against the number four offense in the nation like that, um, we just took it as a challenge, and we wanted to come out and show the world that we we was a serious defense. You personally. Coach Herman was saying he, he described you as you just go and go and go and go. I mean, I think he went on for like two minutes saying that. Is that just – where do you get that from? Where's that, that extra drive come from, um, that gear that you just seem to turn on? I like to say my passion. I really love this game. I've been playing this game since every year of my life since I was three years old. So that's 18 years straight, you know. So I, I just really love the game, and, and I'm an um, instinctive player, you know, and – and I just like to um, just go with the flow. How does that work? Are you, were you just a big kid? Because most moms <laughs> won't let their kids play football. That uh, what, what what happened? They just signed you up, or, or was it backyard type stuff? Or you just picked uh -oh. up a ball and started up? Man, my dad just picked up a ball whenever he was younger, and I just ran and tackled him. And he knew then and there that uh, I was ready. So he um, he always trained me and, and had me work out and. And I was an outside kid, you know. I like going outside and playing a lot, so I was real active in. And I just, yeah. After the game, though, when we were talking, I mean, your your face was lighting up when you were talking about the game, though, especially those sacks. Was it just you you credited the defensive line? Oh, definitely. But how much fun was that to 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 be getting back there as much as you and and the mm -hmm. rest of your teammates were? It was very exciting. We knew um, we knew um, coming in that we needed to attack the quarterback and, and pressure him a lot and make him feel uncomfortable. And to actually go in and execute it was it was a big deal. And, and yeah, it was just a job well done from uh, my defensive line standpoint. Like I was saying yesterday, I mean on um, Saturday, excuse me, uh, our defensive line did a great job in, in um, getting movement up front and holding down their gaps and actually allowing me to um, get a lane, you know, uh, to make plays. You and Landon talked.